Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program to accept two numbers and check whether it is twin prime or not using functions. So what is twin prime? Uh, you will have two numbers. The difference between two numbers should be true. Uh, that is two. And uh, both the numbers should be prime. If so, then it is twin prime. Say for example, uh, you can take 5 and 7. Uh, both the difference between 5 and 7 is 2. And both 5 and 7 are prime numbers. Then uh, this, uh, this 5 and 7 are called as twin prime. So you are going to see the question. Accept two numbers and check whether they are twin prime or not. So you are going to accept two numbers and you are going to check uh, whether uh, these conditions, whatever I said, just uh, you are going to check whether the difference is 2 and you are going to also check whether uh, the uh, both are prime numbers. If so, then it is twin prime. Use the function name as twin and uh, you got a parameter integer n. The function returns 1 if, the, if it is a twin prime otherwise 0. Now here you can notice that I am going to have only one parameter, one number. Okay, if it is a prime, I am going to return 1, otherwise I am going to return 0. But you are going to accept two numbers. So you may be wondering how to do this. Okay, so here what, you, what I am going to do is I am going to use the function uh, to uh, find the prime number for a single number. But I am going to call two times. So once I call two times, you know that uh, well if, if both the numbers returns uh, 1, then both are prime numbers. Okay, so it's very simple. When we when we see the program, I'll explain you that twin prime uh, numbers uh, uh, number uh, numbers are the prime numbers whose difference is two. So you can see some examples: five seven is twin prime, eleven thirteen is twin prime, thirteen uh, seventeen nineteen are twin prime. So these are all some examples of uh, twin prime. So you are going to see how to do that this in uh, do that in Blue Jay. Uh, okay, we again uh, you already seen uh, prime number program. Okay, so you know how it works. So here I am going to create a class twin prime, and I am going to have a function called twin, and I am going to accept the parameter as uh, that is input as n. Okay, the number whatever you are going to pass it will be stored in n, and also it returns the integer value that is one of zero. So this is what we saw in previous uh, videos also. Okay. So same thing you are going to do here, you are going to initialize count equal to 0, then you are going to execute the loop from 1 to n and you are going to check whether n is uh, divisible by i, okay, if it is so then you are going to increase the value of count. So you know that uh, when the value of count is 2, exactly 2, then it is a prime number, right. So you are going to return 1, otherwise you are going to return 0. So this is what we already seen. Now you are going to see the main function, so you are going to explain you that first you are going to create an scanner object, then you will have uh, three variables, okay, namely n1, n2. So n1 and n2 are nothing but the two numbers, so first number, second number and the difference. So you should have, uh, you should check whether both the numbers have the difference too, okay. So next line you can see that. Uh, you are going to input two values, okay, two numbers. Uh, so first number is stored in n1 and second number is stored in n2. Okay, now you are going to store the difference. So how to store the difference? You can see uh, obviously n1 minus n2 will be the difference. Uh, now the first number is, is smaller, second number is uh, greater. You will get a negative value. Say for example 5 and uh, 7, you will get minus 2, okay. So you can uh, use this mathematical function math.abs which will find the absolute value of the negative number which, which will be the positive number that 2 will be stored in different. That's a, that's a reason for using math.abs. You, you may not uh, type in same order, you may type in different order. So if the first number is smaller than the second number then you may get negative number. All right? Or if you, if you write n1 minus n, uh, n2 minus n1 also you can uh, you can write you get positive number but when you input the value you can type in any order whichever order you type it automatically shows that uh, it stores as a positive value when you use math.abs that is the reason for using it okay then you are going to create an uh, object for the class twin prime ob equal to new twin prime okay now this is very important line now this is uh, what you are going to check if ob dot twin n1 so you are passing first value to twin right so it will execute this function and returns true or false that is it returns 1 or 0 okay so that will be checked with equal to equal to 1 so you are going to check uh, the first value whether it is equal to 1 
and okay you go and use an and operator that means you should be true okay all the three should be true ob dot twin n2 so you are going to again pass the second value this time it is second value but executing the same function this is the advantage of using function you can reuse the same function again and again okay so if you do this program in a normal uh, sequence then you should write do that twice you have to write this coding twice for the uh, two numbers but since it is use, uh, we are using uh, functions you are going to uh, write once and execute it two times okay so second time it will return one uh, one or zero that will be checked so you can see that uh, whether the return value is equal to equal to one so the, this is a second condition and also if the difference is two right so you are using and operator if, it, if the difference is not two then obviously it is not a twin prime and uh, okay so you are going to check all these three condition if so if all these three condition is true then it will print n1 n2 are twin primes otherwise it is you are going to print n1 n2 are not twin prime so you are going to execute the program after compilation you are going to execute it so first i am going to give uh, 5 and 7 and you can see that it is uh, twin prime then again i am going to execute with different values say 11 and 13 11 13 so you can leave a space in between you can see both are twin prime now another criteria i am going to give is uh, 7 and 9 <coughs> notice that 7 is a prime number uh, uh, difference is 2 but uh, the uh, second value 9 is not a prime number so it will return it is not a twin prime that is the reason okay so because 7 is prime uh, difference is also 2 but second number 9 is not a prime number so it is not a twin prime so i am going to give one more condition say 7 is a prime number 11 is also a prime number but the difference is not 2 okay so since it is not 2 though both the numbers are prime numbers it will display it is not a twin prime because uh, the difference should be 2 okay uh, hope you understood this program we will meet you in the next video till then thank you